Hello and welcome to this upgrade guide regarding installing SOLIDWORKS 2013. OK, the first thing I'm going to do before I actually do the upgrade from um, SOLIDWORKS 2012 to 2013 is to just run through a few things first to make sure that the installation runs smoothly. So, the first thing I'm actually going to do is have a look in SOLIDWORKS itself. And I'm just going to go into the uh, the options, so system options here, and I'm going to go to Whole Wizard Toolbox. Now, with uh, a number of uh, companies or individuals, you may have uh, your toolbox located on a server. I would always recommend uh, the first person that does an upgrade to 2013 in a company to copy the uh, SOLIDWORKS toolbox from the server onto your C drive. Now the reason this is, is to do with permissions. Sometimes when you use the installation manager in SOLIDWORKS, uh, the way the server is set up, it won't allow it to modify the toolbox. Um, so it's worth copying it locally and then just making sure that this window here is pointing to C drive, so SOLIDWORKS data in my case. For people that are using it on individual machines, then don't worry about this. Um, it will just save um, people having any problems when it comes for, to the, uh, the installation manager actually updating the, uh, the toolbox. What you can do then is obviously, uh, once the installation is complete, uh, then copy the uh, toolbox uh, back onto the server and then repoint it to that. So, uh, I would always recommend as well before you do any upgrade is to back your toolbox up. So when you do copy it locally, uh, maybe zip the, the toolbox up as well and just keep a copy somewhere out of the way. So now that I've made sure that my toolbox is stored locally on this machine, so on C drive, I'm just going to go OK and now I'm just going to close SOLIDWORKS. You can't have SOLIDWORKS open obviously when you're doing an upgrade, so just make sure you do close it. And then the last thing I'm going to do on here before I do the upgrade is to go and have a look for the copy settings wizard. So I'm just going to save my settings. So I'm just going to put it onto uh, my documents folder here. I'm just going to save everything, uh, every setting I've got in So This is just in case I have any problems with the installation. I have to um, uninstall it. I don't want to lose any of my settings. So if I back them all up, then I know they're safe. So these will, for instance, save things like um, uh, keyboard shortcuts, for instance, uh, how the toolbars are laid out, things like that. So I've now saved that into my documents folder. The next thing I'm going to do is insert the, the appropriate disk. I'm working with Windows uh, 7 64-bit here, so I'm going to make sure I put the 64-bit disk into my machine, which I'm just doing now. So I'm just going to have to wait for it to load. Okay, so now it's loaded, it's asking me to uh, run a setup. So I'm just going to go run setup.exe here, go clicking on it. This will now load the installation manager for me. Okay, so the first thing you come to when you're doing a installation of SOLIDWORKS is this screen. So it's just the welcome screen, and it's going to ask me whether I want to do an individual installation, an administrative image, or server products. Now for this video I'm going to be leaving on individual installation. So I'm just going to make sure it's on individual, and then go next. Next thing it's going to do is then display your serial key. So mine's populated here because obviously I'm doing an upgrade from 2012 to 2013. You can modify these at this point if you need to, uh, but I'd imagine most people that do any upgrade like this wouldn't have to change anything. So I'm just going to hit next. It's going to go ahead and have a look on the SOLIDWORKS servers to just double check that my serial is in, um, has entitlement. Okay, this stage is asking me whether I want to um, download a more recent service pack. Obviously the disk that I've put in is SOLIDWORKS 2013 service pack 0. Uh, there's actually uh, SOLIDWORKS service 
um, if I have a look here, at the moment I've got either service pack one or service pack two early visibility. I would never recommend uh, ever installing a, an early visibility service pack. So I've got a choice here really in installing service pack one. So what it will do is if I do put it on service pack one here, when I go next it will go and have a look for the service pack one files on the SOLIDWORKS server, download them and then apply them to the installation when I in, uh, upgrade to 2013. Now what I would normally recommend is just to click no, just install service pack zero and then when you've finished the installation just double check the SOLIDWORKS works and then you can do um, the update feature from the actual SOLIDWORKS, from, from SOLIDWORKS itself. So um, I will show you that at the end. So I'm just going to leave it on no and then just do next. The next thing it's going to ask me is whether I want to upgrade uh, 2012 to uh, 2013 service pack zero or create a new installation of 2013 service pack zero. So I need to choose one of these. Now for this demonstration I'm going to be doing an upgrade but bear in mind you can have more than one version of SOLIDWORKS installed on a machine. Um, so I could create a completely separate installation in here, uh, sorry, on this machine as well. I'm just going to put it on upgrade and then hit next. Okay, so it's now giving me a summary. So as I said, when, when uh, a serial is checked against the, uh, the SOLIDWORKS servers, it does give you um, what you're entitled to. So the serial I've put in is for a, is a premium license here. It has another options here of what it's actually going to upgrade. Uh, I can modify these for instance if I want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's just have a look at the installation location. So it's just going to, I can change it if I want to. Uh, I'm, for this demonstration I'm going to leave it exactly how it is so it's just going to install it in SOLIDWORKS Corp and the toolbox is going to upgrade the toolbox from my C drive. Now I'm just going to have a look in this very quickly. Now when you're, the, if you're the first person that's doing a 2013 upgrade okay, what I would always suggest is as I said make sure your your toolbox is located on your C drive and then put it on upgrade this in, um, installed 2012 toolbox which is C SOLIDWORKS data and at that point that's perfectly fine if it's always going to stay on your machine if you work if you have copied it locally from a server at this point just make sure you upgrade the toolbox and then when you're done obviously put it back on the server. Now say you're the second person to install SOLIDWORKS at your company and someone has already updated the uh, the toolbox so it's at 2013 there's no need for you to copy it locally and then upgrade it again. So at this point what I would suggest you do is to create a new toolbox here and then just put it somewhere say in C drive in this case it's going to put a brackets 2 in it and then what, what, what you need to do at the end of the installation, it will be pointing to this folder okay, for your toolbox, it's just to go into SOLIDWORKS and then go into the options and then point it at the server toolbox that someone's already upgraded. So in this instance, because I haven't upgraded any of the toolboxes yet, I'm just going to upgrade my local toolbox. And for some of you this is, this is perfectly fine, this is the only step you'll need to do. So I'm just going to go back to the summary and at this stage I'm just going to uh, this is one actually one last thing, let's have a look un under the download options so the downloader here is going to download future service packs so it does this automatically and it will give you a prompt so uh, it will say I've downloaded say service pack 1 for instance or service pack 2 and do you want to install it so I'm just going to leave that on and next thing I'm going to do is just hit install now Okay, the last screen that you'll see is to uh, give you an option to join the SOLIDWORKS Customer Experience Improvement Program. Now I'm just going to leave it on Remind Me Later. Uh, you can put yes if you want. 
And there's also a tick box up here to um, load the, uh, the What's New document for 2013. So every year when uh, SOLIDWORKS release a new, um, new version of SOLIDWORKS, uh, they always do a What's New um, documentation just to see what's new this year. Um, I'm going to untick that as well for the moment. So at this point, I'm just going to go Finish. And then you'll notice that my icons are now changed to over here, and they're now 2013. I'm just going to double click on the 2013 uh, shortcut. Okay, so let's just double check with the toolbox. Now it's upgraded. So I'm just going to make sure my toolbox is pointing to the correct location. Also, I'm just going to have a look under the help menu. So in here, this is where you can check whether there's any updates. So I can go to the help menu and go check for updates. If I click on this, it will load the installation manager again, and then it will give me the choice to download whatever the latest service pack is. Okay. So this completes this video on upgrading SOLIDWORKS to 2013. Thanks for watching.